Oh wow, this is gonna be trippy. Oh, we got a hung up wheel. Hey guys. Hey Annabeth, stay back here. So we just got pulled over on this trip for the second time. Well, ain't your mama don't work that way. Well, <laughs> as you guys can see, we are uh, we are besieged by weather up here, but. Uh, give you a little background on what all happened basically got this beast all set up for eating rocks and we got this beast pulled out and this is our rock eater puller trailer um so we'll run over to the we'll run over to merlin's here Anyways, uh, I'm in Wisconsin. We got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Here's some background. Uh, a little bit of the trip. We stopped out and saw a really cool company on the way uh, for their rock eating machine, uh, which I think is going to be a super compliment to this. I am in no way sponsored by any of these people. This is just us uh, out here working, doing some field work, solving rock problems. Um, as you can see, the weather has taken a turn. We are getting the road across the swamp. Uh, the guys just stopped working for the day on that. And that's where we're at. All right, keep on keeping on. We got to say it loud and let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> The camera or the picker? <laughs> hey man, I'm curious to see what you do. Like, let's get it, man. Oh, this is the coolest. Hey Jill, can we buy one? Yes, I let you buy everything. <laughs> You're just mad about that one truck. Why wouldn't you want? Why wouldn't you want a raw picker? By the way, guys, this is Heidi with Terra Clear. All right. Oh wow, this is going to be trippy. Maybe you guys can be part of the, what should we call it? What should we name the picker? What should we name the picker? That's a good thing. I'm a... Oh. Picker. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that was super cool. Getting into some big rocks. Dude, it actually picks up. Dude, that thing is cool. That thing is awesome. 
What do you think, Annabeth? Is that cool? You want to give it a thumbs did up? Jake, did you just... Can we get a thumbs up? Come on! Yeah. Did you just adopt Heidi? Yes! I know! <laughs> Heidi, I hope you have kids. I'm sorry. Mine's, I do, I do. My, mine's actually stuck to you right now. And we gotta dump them back. Hey guys, we just stopped by TerraClear. Super cool. So yeah, this is a company, they're kind of, they're out of Seattle and I met them about a year ago and we got to talking and they're like, well, since you guys are driving by in the background there, right? I've never been good at this, right there. You can see their tractor. So they have like little optical scanners right across the top of the tractor right there. And it reads the field as the tractor drives along. And then they fly drones over, communicate. I, the stuff they do is just goofy. Super genius people, but we got to take a look at everything. Super nice. We're in Grangeville, Idaho. And then we're uh, <laughs> we're headed the rest of the way back to the farm. Ah, see you when we get there. Hey, guys. Hey, Annabeth, stay back here. So we just got pulled over on this trip for the second time. And I got a ticket. Our front brake is hanging up a little bit, and it's kind of pulling it to the right. Well, anyways, I'm I'm diting down the hill. These guys were kind of thinking I was drunk, which they had every right to do. All right, we're getting out of here. Thanks, guys. And uh, but yeah, that brake pedal's just not coming all the way up, and it's it was hanging up this one. Oh, you found the problem, sweetie? Oh, what was it? That is really weird. All right, everybody on board. Let's go. Thank you for fixing it. All right. Love you guys. off the RV is destroyed uh, we have done no favors to that bad boy this bad boy um, anyways we're rocking and rolling I'll uh, update you when we get there and if there's anything interesting to see on the way I'll try to give you a look kind of a sidebar but we're in Candy Ohio County Minnesota and uh, I don't know man I just to me this is always a pretty time of year out here too I'll hit you up once we get into Buffalo County but you know, you just, you got the fields and kind of the really gently rolling terrain. I mean, to me, it's always just been, it's just kind of pretty out here too, you know. It's a, it's a different, it's a, it's a different kind of pretty than back home. You know, you gotta, you just have to have this true love of this country, but, and, and I know I'm in Minnesota and, and I always joke with my wife, like, cause she's from Minnesota that, you know, the only good thing in Minnesota married me and left, but, uh. Don't tell anybody, but it's just a pretty cool state, too. Go Packers.
boys and girls. Here's today's problem. As you can see, that vibration dampener, there's the new one. Did not hurt the gears at all. So Derek has already tugged this thing all apart. And we are gonna start slapping it back together. Right meow. <sighs> Did you count the snap rings? 40? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, check in with you on a bit. So you guys know we're bad people this plug here is the bottom one we lost the top one so we uh improvised we improvised and that's uh that's derek's cutting board it's uh high density plastic and it's a temporary solution until we can order one of these and get them in and i think what we're gonna do is rent some more silk one around here oh yeah Cut another one Mash them in there. Mash them in there. Yeah. That way it is, it is sealed. It's sort of a bad plan. All right. It started raining. I got to go save my tools. So this is what we do. It's a bad idea. But then we're going to take that, uh, we're going to take that bearing, put it in there. And then we're going to buck that bearing off and it's going to make a ring seal. There it is. That's hard. Guys, yeah, I gotta show you this. That there, that is a pretty solid repair. That'll work. You guys might know Derek. Derek, well, you haven't met Derek yet, but Derek bought the Red Peterbilt sitting in the driveway. So, we got all the way out here to fix this tractor and discovered we're missing a seal. Nobody on planet Earth has one. Happened to call an auto parts place in town and they had two of these rare buggers. Otherwise, we were going to be sunk until Monday. So we just got crazy lucky. So I'll check in with you when we get this thing uh, spun up here. Not badly done. All right, look at that. We haven't put the sides back on the tractor, but brand new pump in. We are in danger of starting it and driving it out as soon as we pick up them chains. So we uh, <laughs> we inadvertently broke the sight glass. So we are cutting out another microscopically slow. <laughs> Working or no? Nope. If you were me, what would you eat? Everything. All of it. All of it? Okay. All of it. Thank yep. you. <laughs> I think that's pretty good looking. You guys were doing Coming back to life. I think we're in danger. Oh, that's a brutal machine. stand here in case it throws a rock but 
That thing makes rocks, stumps, everything go away. Look at that. I told you, it's like you dumped the fresh thing of gravel on it. Dude, it just like emulsifies it. <laughs> that is crazy. That's like hard, hard packed to powder. All right. I'm going to tell you guys for the record. As you guys know, the last time we flat towed the pickup, we took out the transfer case so this time I pulled the drive line because everybody's like oh just pull the drive line it's only two bolts well I'm gonna tell you something I've been working on this for a half hour now my hands are frozen numb and when this grease in here gets below 32 degrees getting this drive line on is a monstrous pain and I am having to try to coerce it backwards using violence and it's not working because it is frozen solid <sighs> so for all you knowledgeable guys out there who are like oh it's only two bolts it's much more difficult than that, actually. This sucks. It's only two bolts. It's so easy. I'll tell you this, among my other awesome adventures, <laughs> when I came out here I had to get new plates for the truck and the RV. And when Washington sends you the plates, they just send them in a plain envelope. So the there's no way of telling which plates are which. And as the state trooper kindly informed me, the first one that pulled me over. Ah, uh, the damn it! The plates for the RV are on the truck, and the plates for the truck are on the RV, which is kind of awkward. So I don't have the right Allen for this. Come on, Maverick! Who puts? Allen sockets on license plates anyway. This is plain unfair. Somebody's running bear dogs. So we're gonna try the old use a slightly too big one. I couldn't remember what size these nuts were. And they're all jumped on here. So I'm taking a little page out of Hank Hamilton's book. I'm using my socket set in the pocket. By the way, if you guys watch Hamilton Hill Farms, uh, Hank's a pretty cool guy.
So, whoops. He kind of, uh, kind of helped us out and got us started uh, with some advice when we were first starting the YouTube channel. And so, here's a link to his stuff. Go check him out in the description below. And uh, but Hank's pretty cool. He does a lot of the similar stuff we do. A lot of trucks, a lot of farms, a lot of will it starts. Uh, so, guys, run over and check him out. It's a pretty cool guy.